Here we go! We're feeling very gay because it's almost time to play. Grab your favorite chair with a lucky PS. Yes! What's up, everyone? Welcome back. It's episode four of the Lucky Pierre's Movie Reviews, and tonight we are reviewing Werewolves Within. Bing. All right, what'd you guys think? Um, thoughts, initial reactions to the movie? We watched it all probably about three days ago. What'd you guys think? You can go ahead. Yeah, um, I I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Like I, did. I also enjoyed it. Let me just say a few things that I thought, just in a nutshell. I thought it was pretty sharp. The dialogue. I thought the dialogue was sharp. I thought the directing was pretty like stylish. I guess you could say it wasn't bland. It was uh, sharp. Uh, they were funny, funny lines, funny like. The, I think there were a lot of good like cheesy lines and a lot of memorable like yeah. one liners. Exactly. The characters. Yeah, there was a lot. It was very um, um, tightly packed with jokes. You, you what know? do you think about? The song that was the intro to the movie. What was that song? Uh, Howard Marin, The Phantom Strikes Again, which is a very dark and ominous set to the movie. Because if you actually listen to the movie or the song, it's pretty fucked up. But it's like little children singing about like who did these mischievous things. And then they get darker and darker as it goes. Yeah. I was listening a little bit. Yeah. The Phantom Strikes Again. I knew that was the yeah. title. Yeah. But yeah. But it's just a that. very quote in the beginning with mr rogers and yeah that was, was funny was off by that too. It was like, super funny yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, but uh, the the acting also like great casting great casting, yeah, the, cast, all, the, whole cast great casting. the whole cast was great good mix of characters yep and uh, the characters were all like extreme archetypes you know what that, i mean like the, the the girl from the at&t commercials is uh what i've been told is a smoke show Ben was gush, oh my God. gushing about her. Oh my God, dude! I almost, I almost uh, couldn't take it that that dancing scene. I was Sam like, uh, Sam Richardson, the the lead, is a Michigan boy, actually born in Detroit. Very likable dude. Yeah, I think everything I've and seen he, him well, in, he's very he, likable. He, he's Are you one of the people that like assaults her on the internet? Like, oh no, no. <laughs> I, I'm just asking because she's I know she freaks out about that. I know she's got uh, she's got a bunch of threats and stuff. I only did some of them. They're like violent. <laughs> I only did some of them. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. They're like violent sex, like. Stuff people say to her. Really? Show. Yeah. Oh, she oh, is yeah. so hot. I would say that stuff. Well, that, <laughs> I figure. I figure that's why she's. <laughs> uh, I, would... I absolutely love Michaela Watkins. She's been in a, a lot of stuff. I like. She was in Brigsby Bear. Who is that? Uh, Which she was character? like the crazy one whose dog dies. Oh yeah, she's a good actress. Uh, she's she... in Brigsby Bear. Love that movie. I haven't seen it. Brittany runs a marathon. It's pretty good. Uh, Sword of Trust. Good Boys. She was in Good Boys. Okay. She was one of the moms. Uh, the Way Back, that movie with Ben Affleck. She's in that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know who I thought stole the show? I thought had the best lines and was, like, funny every time he was on screen. What was his name? I got it I got it in the notes. One of the... The boyfriend, like, the ponytail? The one, the, the gay, one of the gay guys. Oh, I forget oh. his name. The, like, Hispanic one? Yeah. That's, he, I was going to get to that. Like, this is absolutely more of a horror than a, or more of a comedy than a horror. 100%. Like, akin to... Joaquin, uh, what we do Joaquin. In, what we do in the shadows. It's like similar to that. Yeah. And that dude is in the series, What We Do in the Shadows. Oh, is he? He plays Guillermo, who is like the familiar for the vampires. He's like the human that does de tasks during the day. Uh, that guy is funny, man. That guy was on. That guy was so funny, man. He had some great lines and delivery. and um, But, yeah, um, the, the some of the cool uh, settings were cool. Well, like was, the town was, was cool. The arcade room was very well, cool. It was based on a video game that I will likely never play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. I think it's a VR game. It's like a game like Among Us. Yeah, where like one of the people in the group is a ve werewolf. And, and you know what they did it. was when uh, he first arrived in town, they did a great intro for each character, like in quick succession, real quick. Yeah. You know, get it, get it all. Out of, the, what's his get the guy's name? Uh, Flint. Flint was a great character. It's, it's, uh, it's set up like yeah. uh, almost like Knives Out. Like yeah, the mystery, who done it? Yeah, yeah like the, that portion of the movie is very like that. Everybody loves a good who done it, where you put them all in the same. Ben hall. just wanted to say who done it. I did. <laughs> that, where you put them all in the same home, the same room. You know, that's when you get the yeah. great chemistry coming out and all the back and forth banter then and whatnot. I, uh, something might, that might not be an, of note to some people. There was another Ace of Base moment in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> another, you never have enough Ace of Base movies. <laughs> All she wants is another baby. Yes, the, that's a that's a classic that'll never die. <laughs> and she did want to bang the main dude. 
I mean, I feel like she said that she didn't. It was all a game to eat him. Yeah, it was a game, but like she was, she was. Um, I feel like you just wanted to think that she was hitting it on him pretty hard. Her to bang somebody early on. Oh, for sure I did. She was so smoking in that movie. It was crazy. It was crazy. Um, I mean, it wasn't crazy. It, was, it had a very good score and soundtrack. Like the few songs that were in it, were I felt good with the movie. Like that intro song, and then in the credits also was a similar type of song. Mm -hmm. And then the score throughout, I thought, was good was for good. the movie. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, that dude, Josh Rubin, I believe is his name, the director. Yes. I think he shows some promise, like because he's only done this, and he did a movie for Shudder called Scare Me, which I liked a lot. Never seen it. Uh, he also acted in that movie. And then we just watched a short he did that I had seen, and Ben and Joe had not seen. Ben hated it. Yeah. Joe and I laughed. But I'm, it was, I thought it was stupid, very stupid, but uh, whatever. Not my type of comedy. Ben has changed. I have changed. He, he used to be on the same level, same level as us, just consuming garbage and loving it. That's for a different day. That's a whole <laughs> different discussion. But I will say, a funny little side story. Wait, he also acted in movies, okay. Greener Grass, which I feel like you would hate because you just hated that short. Yeah. Uh, he was in his own movie, Scare Me, and he's in that movie coming out. I believe it's coming on Hulu, Plan B. About I've heard of it. I the think. girl like who tries to take the Plan B pill. I'm pretty sure is what the movie, but it's a comedy, and people are raving about it because it's a uh, Pacific Islanders. I think the, all the main characters are like Pacific Islanders. Mm. Okay. Underrepresented in film. Okay. Okay. Random fact. Uh -huh. Yeah. I w I want to say this. I seen a Twitter video uh, that Josh Rubin got. He showed his mother. Uh, she was scrolling on. I think it was Amazon Prime, okay. and she scrolled to his movie, and it said his name on the screen. She's like, "Oh my God, <laughs> I'm gonna call so and so, and <laughs> this is crazy." <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, that's my name. That's me." <laughs> and he was in the room, but um, the the axe throwing that was cool. It foreshadowed how she was gonna kill the how he was gonna kill the right. You know, mm -hmm. you could see that coming from a mile away. But I liked it when he was like throwing it later in the movie, and he was trying to kill her, and she's coming at him, and he hits like a dartboard in the distance. He's like, "All right, yeah." yeah. <laughs> Yeah, had a lot of those moments, like yeah. sidebar comedy. Yeah, moments. very, very, like, almost slapsticky, you know? It's funny, but um, really good comedic timing, writing. I thought it I thought it was just a sharp, sharp movie. Yeah, the cast helped a lot with that. It was just a good cast. Yeah, I, did, yeah, I agree. Funny I agree. people from a lot of different stuff. But the direction, too, like, some of the stuff, like, could have been done more bland, but, like, he used... Um, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Just very stylish. Almost like um, Edgar, of, Edgar of, Wrighty in yeah, a way. I've, I've actually seen that thrown around a bunch of times that like people said you can't deny like that it's like Edgar Wright stuff. A, a little bit. Which is tiny. Like, I mean, just weird that like I've seen a bunch of people say that. Yeah. Which it honestly, was, the only person I've seen or heard bring him up often recently was you. Yeah. Because last night in Soho, right? I, lo I love Edgar Wright. Yeah. Because of him. I love yeah. Edgar Wright stuff. But I will say... Um, where was I going? I don't know. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I was saying all characters are extreme versions of like the char oh, archetypes, yeah, archetypes, you know, yeah. uh, like the 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 Hicks, the white trash, like the mechanics, the methods, you know, yeah. and and then you got the pushover, overly nice, innocent guy, the main character, and you got the crazy lady, the gay guys, you know. All the, her husband was a creep, kept trying to yeah, rope on everybody. Yeah, like a creep dirt bag. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, but um. Oh yeah, that was funny when he said uh, uh, his 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 go to like phrase was uh, "heavens to Betsy," yeah. <laughs> and what's he say later on? He's like "heavens to uh, f me" or something like that. <laughs> that was really funny. Um, yeah, uh, Doctor Ellis was uh, you know nice, good little character. She got she she, she made you seem suspicious throughout. Uh, you know, honestly, early on. I thought like I did think she was gonna shoot herself. So spoiler alert, which she did. Yeah. Well, well, allegedly. No. Well, I think but the I, one dude but I think killed her. She might have. Or killed her. But uh, when she was freaking out and doing all those tests, I thought it was going to come out that she herself was a werewolf, but not the werewolf that was killing people. Yeah. Yeah. But then she they never suspicious. got to that point because she died immediately. Yeah. She seemed like, very suspicious. After, that, after I had that thought, she died. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah. But did um, you guys predict who it was before? You saw, or because I I did, I I thought it was pretty predictable, but really, yeah. um, I I thought, I, did, also, I thought it was predictable, but then at times I was like, he's doing a good job of making you second guess yourself. Like, exactly. Even, even if you still thought it was who it was, you were like, oh, I guess maybe I not. See, it could it be like she else. was the only one they didn't obviously point to as. Being oh yeah, they, like, that's it, true. Looking back, like so yeah, that way you think, you, yeah, you look gotta, back, yeah. you're like, oh, there was never any doubt cast at her, really. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, like, you put two and two together, like, she's the one that found the clue, like, the dog leash. Yeah. And then... She planted, of yeah. course, yeah. 
kept the mail packages so they couldn't get but that, yeah that's what i didn't i w- honestly because i'm usually pretty good at guessing the outcome really early i was upset at myself that i didn't notice that that dude did they say that he was a mailman at or ever or no I don't think because they did. she said like I killed him because I needed his outfit. Yeah, I don't think they said. And I, that's I was like, if I miss that, I'm gonna be annoyed at myself. What did yeah. they not say? Like she killed the first dude that dies in the very opening. Yeah, she killed him just because he was the mailman and she needed a mailman outfit. That's yeah, that's what they yeah yeah. But I don't. He wasn't wearing a mailman outfit like that. I noticed when she in the beginning when he died, and mm. then nobody brought up that he was a mailman. And that's what I'm saying. If I if they that did happen and I missed it, no, that would have been too myself. obvious. They, we would have. But then. What pissed me off is why wouldn't his wife be suspicious? Like, oh, my husband, the mailman, died, and this lady showed up the next day and is the new mailman? Like, why wouldn't she have figured that it out? That lady seemed kind of like a... Unhinged. Y- not unhinged. I don't know if unhinged is the word, but like, you know, like... She was A dullard, you know, like... She, she was losing her mind. She was pretty unhinged. I like to use practical effects for the world and didn't go like straight yeah. CGI. Yeah, that is cool. Like mm-hmm. More goofy than it did. Yeah, it was, that was cool. Very. It was, she was she was cool looking. You know. Did you still want a banger when she was in the world. Hundred percent. Okay, I figured. <laughs> I feel like it might be even more. <laughs> it was a very. It was very aware of itself and its humor. Like you mid, know, mid when transformation, you? Ben was definitely full on rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. But it it wasn't it very aware of itself and its like humor style. You know what I mean? It because it said. I like the where the guy says, uh, "If Marcus is a werewolf, that'd be very disappointing. That'd be <laughs> effing disappointing." You know what I mean? <laughs> I like I love when they came up on that Marcus dude, and he had the Freddy claw on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, "I'm gonna rob these people, and I'm gonna make them think a werewolf did it." And he was just slashing Putting knives on he was his slashing fingers, slashing stuff with knife <laughs> fingers. And then you hear in the background, "If Marcus is the werewolf, that's freaking disappointing." <laughs> Do we know if the video game is more like a humor or is it a straight horror? I, well, I don't think it's really... I don't think it's horror. I it's don't like a whodunit. Like, uh, it's just like Among Us. Like, like a clue kind of? Like, yeah, it's, it's like a goofy to, type of thing. You're supposed to play it with a group of friends. Like I had honestly didn't know much about the video game beforehand, but I knew people that are like weirdo nerds that I know that play like tabletop games and stuff, and they get together and play like that game in real person, like in person. Yeah. Like yeah. in a hat, you grab out of a hat your character, and all of them are like party goer, except for one of them is werewolf. So the only person who knows who the werewolf is is a werewolf, and you have to like Deflect. either turn or kill other people in the group until yeah. either everybody's a werewolf or only one person's left. And that's what the video game is. Is like gotcha. It's like a multiplayer VR game where I don't know how you do that unless you do it online because if you're all in the same room and it's a video game, everybody's going to see who the fucking werewolf yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know how they do it. Yeah, there's got to be a way. But it's just like you're all in a group and one person's a werewolf and they're the only one that knows yeah. they're the werewolf. Okay. So, so your goal is to turn each other against each other. What was your guys' favorite uh, character? Who was your favorite? I already said mine. It was yeah, Joaquin. I, was, nah, I think we know who yours was actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I was, I was Joaquin as far as that lines and dialogue and t- comedic timing and all that. But who do you guys think? Uh, the hippie dude with like the, he was the Freddy Claus. That guy. Oh yeah. Some great lines. Uh, Marcus. Yeah. Him, yeah. yeah. Him and his wife were, might've been my, or his girlfriend. I think it was his wife. Were probably my gr- my best favorite combo of characters because they were just <laughs> they ridiculous. Lines. They did, yeah. The, 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 I thought the I think one of the funniest parts in this movie was um, when he said when he's trying to console her and he goes, "It's a bit of a reach." <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't reach her. He was like, <laughs> "That was really or, funny." Uh, when the dude has like his hand missing and he's like just losing it and like fading out due to blood loss and yeah. he's like he's like i'm a werewolf you're a werewolf we're all fucking werewolves and he's like so he's like maybe i'm the werewolf starts biting his his fingers had just gotten yeah. ripped off and he starts biting and he's like oh, oh and then like passes out yeah he's, he goes oh, uh. <laughs> how well, about that i like the ending where he says you're <laughs> it's so funny i cracked up your pipeline is trash then he shoots <laughs> the blows up <laughs> Because that's such, I mean, gay people like to say stuff like that. You're, you, hey, it's not saying. Uh, I didn't say anything. That's not saying anything bad. It's They they like to use that word. It's tra- That's trash. You know what I, I mean? I don't know a lot of gay people, so I can't. I know a few. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I um, know a few. That was I funny. was going to say, it's, a, it's, like a, it's a great date movie if you both have the same humor and one of you doesn't have an annoying laugh. Exactly. Because yeah. if one of you has an annoying laugh and is laughing the whole time and the other person's annoyed by your laugh, it's not going to be a great time. Mm-mm. No, no. But however, it was, I, uh, me and Sophia went and saw it and 
I her laugh doesn't annoy me. I hope my laugh doesn't annoy her. And we had we had a great time. And it was an That's empty great. theater. There's nobody. You in seen the in theater. theaters? Yeah, nobody Where, in the theater. Did you have to go out far. Uh, I did. I have to go to Livonia. So it was like 25 minutes away? Like half or, hour. Yeah, half hour. Dang. But yeah, that's awesome you've seen it in the theaters. That, I mean, I wish I would have seen it in the theaters. But anything else you guys want to add before we get to the ratings? No? All right, let's do it then. Let's give our ratings. I gave it, I liked it a lot, and I would personally say it, I think it's one of the best video game movies ever made. I've seen a list of all the video game movies, and I would put it in the top 10. Also, I, I, I gave not it a, saying much there, but it's not <laughs> yeah, saying usually much. Usually they fall short. I enjoyed it I, thoroughly, though. I gave it a seven point five. I yeah, I said a seven, seven and a half. Okay, for you sure. got to pick one. From now on, just pick one. Well, because I, the, I use an app to rate movies, and it's out of five. Yeah. So, but Ben wants us to do out of ten, so I always have to sometimes give a half because, like, a three out of five is kind of better than a six out of ten. Yeah, yeah. So you got to bump it up. So, so I gave this a three and a half out of five. So I said a seven, maybe seven and a half out of ten. You just pick one though. S- seven and a half. Seven and a half. All right. <laughs> what, do you, what do you? Jeez, Louise. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? I just give it a six and a half. I thought it was a fun movie. Didn't yeah. blow me away. Nothing blew me away about it. But it no? was just a fun, fun watch. Yeah. Okay. It's nothing I would be uh, like. Uh, to tell somebody like you have to see this movie. <laughs> oh no, but uh, Ben says he's all about wholesome content, com- or you know, content, content, yeah. and it was it was. Pretty wholesome. It, it was. For, for, it wasn't for, any especially for our taste. A, a, a smidge of sexual humor from the woman, but I'm cool with that. You, the woman. you said you would sexually harass her on the internet. So. I did. <laughs> I like, would never do that. You're the reason. <laughs> He just likes to joke about it. I it's just okay. like to joke about it. I, I would never. You're the reason she hides behind tables and AT&T commercials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a real reason, thing that she does. The reason she has to wear baggy shirts and hide behind eraser dry erase boards. That chick's gonna be a star, though. My goodness, she's she dances gonna be... once in a movie, and you just uh, oh my god, I almost lost my mind. But uh, either way, our ratings are over. Final verdict. Let's do the final verdict. Either go watch it asap, see it whenever, skip it. I say, see it whenever. Don't delay like that, though. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it, it falls in the middle. Like, I wouldn't say, like, go out of your way to see it, but it's definitely worth a watch. And if you want, like, if you like horror comedy type stuff, it's definitely a good date movie. Yeah, it's a fun movie. There's not, like, any ultra violence. There's good comedy. It's good. It's not really a horror horror movie. It's not going to scare you, but. No. Just a fun movie all around. I would say it's more comedy. Yeah, great cast. Yeah. Great cast, sharp dialogue, good direction. Just a funny. I thought it was well done. I would say one of the best video game movies ever made, honestly. I, honest, I'm not playing with that. I, yeah, but if you go down a list, that's not a bold statement. It's right? not. It's not, but it kind of is because there's been like there's, there's like been three good ones in yeah ever made. I so. don't know. Yeah, what what? So if you're putting this in the top of those movies, what other movies are up there? Silent Hill's up there. I think that's one of the best video game movies ever made. I want to go to the town that Silent Hill is filmed in. What's that? The Centralia, Pennsylvania, the abandoned town that's on fire underground at all times. That's a real town? Yeah. It's uh, got its post office and zip code taken away. There's like less than 100 people that still live there. That's crazy. But like a pipeline that under it of oil caught on fire, and they're like, you know what? Let's uh, set it on fire, and the gas will burn itself out. And that did not work. It's just been on fire ever since underground. So they just abandoned the town and roadblocked it off. You that, can still visit there. That's nuts. It's on the list. Like I had a list of uh, random... Like ghost towns and spooky places I wanted to go to, and it's bucket list kind of town. Yeah, that's cool. I don't really consider this a video game movie. In, in my it opinion. is though. I, I know like, it is. Like I, it is, but I feel but like nobody I'll knows just, about nobody knows about. Game, it, yeah. So I, it's yeah, not I wanted to, really, but like because most video game movies are like either made, like, action movies like or like Kombat, suspense like, horror movies. Yeah, I or agree. Just more well known, like Resident Evil, Mortal Kombat, like yeah, more established, very, yeah, names. big fr- franchises. Yeah, this one no one knows about the game, so you, I could see. You could I mean, say I feel it's like somebody has to know about the game. Yeah, there's yeah. people that play. Obviously, it. the director does. But yeah. I don't think <laughs> maybe they, he doesn't. I I've never played the game, but I don't think it went off the game that much, you know. But maybe just the basic like concept of it, just the core of it, just a the, werewolf and who done yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, 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 either way, a video game movie, it is. I mean, you can't. Are Yoda? <laughs> 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 Well, so what other movies would you guys put in the best video game movies ever I, that's made? That's what I'm trying to think of. Any Silent great Hill? Ones. Uh, what tough. about what about um, Mortal Kombat? I mean, the first one's good. I enjoyed it when it came out, but just because the song, I lo- the song got me amped. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. I uh, did know a kid when we were younger who uh, 
set up a boombox in class behind books and kept playing that song yeah. and jumping up and got in a lot of trouble. It was great. <laughs> Classic. Like, just more, every time, mortal comedy, jump up in class and just like, sit the fuck down. And now he's probably dead. No, he's a great guy. I mean, was <laughs> Ninja Turtles the game out before or the movie out before? Probably the movie, huh? Yeah, that's a good point. I don't. I never. I actually have never seen the Ninja Turtle movies. So, I mean, once again, I'm just doubting Ben's commitment to film. <laughs> Went to school for film. Hasn't seen Squat. <laughs> doesn't know. People. Hasn't seen the Ninja Turtles movies. I mean, the first couple are classics. You don't. Yeah, see they're Turtles on the time, list. They're on the list. Okay. Don't okay, do this. We over we, we went through this in text. Where at are they on the list? Are you actually going to watch them, or they're are on, they? No, they're, I got about 250 movies that that uh, I would say are higher priority, and those are they're on there. So, <sighs> <laughs> on that, that's our review for <laughs> Werewolves Within. Thanks for watching. I would say watch it, man. Watch ben it. Ben doesn't know who the fuck Casey Jones is. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I would say watch it whenever you get a Personal chance. Attack. It's a funny movie, man. Check it out. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. See ya. And I hope you had a great yeah, 4th yeah, of yeah, July yeah. weekend. <laughs>